before we actually start creating content, we need to have some place to put it. So we're going to create some folders in a place in your file system that you can easily get to through the command line. For most people, the easiest place to get to is either the documents or downloads folder. So I chose to put my files in the documents folder. Within my documents folder, I created a subfolder called Wikidata underscore test. You don't have to call it that, but if you want to follow the instructions I show you, then you can call it Wikidata underscore test. And within that folder, I created a subfolder called data, and this is the place where I'm actually going to put the files that I'm going to be working with. So there are three types of files that we need to have in order to actually upload data to Wikidata with Vanderbot. One of the files, of course, is the Vanderbot program itself. Then there is also a metadata description file, which tells Vanderbot how to interpret the CSV files according to the Wikibase model. And that file is called CSV metadata JSON. We will see a way to create or to acquire this file. And then the other files besides those two are one or more CSV files. These are the spreadsheet tables that are described by the metadata description file. And this is where we place the data that we are actually going to upload. So before we proceed, you should go ahead and create the wikidata underscore test folder and the data folder within it before we go on. <laughs> 